To find the oxidation numbers for each element in SCN minus the thiocyanate ion, we'll use these rules here. The first thing we need to recognize is we have this negative sign up here. That means that SCN, that's an ion. This is the thiocyanate ion. And if we have an ion, all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to the charge on the ion. So we have a charge here, just a negative sign. That means it's 1 minus. So the oxidation numbers, all of these, when we add these up, they're going to equal that minus 1. So we know that. Now when we look at our chart here, S, C, and N, we don't see those on our chart. These can have variable oxidation numbers depending what they're bonded to. So we're kind of stuck here with these rules. There is another rule we can look at though. It says for the more electronegative element, the oxidation number for that element, that's going to be equal to the charge if that element were an ion. So the most electronegative here is nitrogen. So let's look on the periodic table at its charge. So nitrogen, its ionic charge when it's an ion, the nitride ion, that's going to be 3 minus. So we can say the nitrogen here, that'll have a minus 3 oxidation number. Sulfur is just a little bit more electronegative than carbon. So sulfur, that's right here underneath oxygen, that's going to have a minus 2 oxidation number. And then we don't know what the carbon is. We're going to call that X. So based on this information, we should be able to figure out the oxidation numbers for each element in SCN minus. So remember we said that because this is an ion, the thiocyanate ion, all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to the charge on the ion. And this whole ion has that 1 minus ionic charge. So everything's going to end up to minus 1. So we'll have minus 2 plus X minus 3 equals minus 1. So x minus 5, that equals the minus 1. We add 5 to each side, and we get x is a positive 4. And that positive 4 will be the oxidation number on the C in SCN minus. If we add these oxidation numbers up, minus 2 plus 4, that gives us positive 2, positive 2 plus negative 3, we end up with a negative 1. And that makes sense. That's the charge on the thiocyanate ion. The key here is that we assigned the more electronegative elements their charge as found on the periodic table, their ionic charge. And we used that information to figure out the element we didn't know, the carbon. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for each element in SCN minus, the thiocyanate ion. Thanks for watching.